everybody, this is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. You may be wondering why I have this in my hand. It's because I want to show you a really cool trick about how to bend binding if you don't have a heat gun. So the other day, I was reading an internet forum, and someone said, Hey, I don't have a heat gun. How do I bend binding? Well, if you go to try to bend binding... Oh, let me put my dunce cap down. If you try to bend binding like this around a corner especially a tight corner like on a Les Paul. Did that turn white yet? Yeah. So you basically ruin, you ruin the binding and you don't get the, uh, um, the, the contour like you want. So I want to show you a cool trick that I learned from an old school guy. So what you do is I'm assuming that if you don't have a heat gun you have an empty jar of whiskey and you have a homemade funnel and you have some acetone. You ought to have acetone anyway. So pour a little bit of the acetone into the whiskey bottle or any bottle. It doesn't have to be a whiskey bottle. And let's see. What we're going to do is we are going to just put this binding into the bottle and let the gas from the acetone Soften it up. So I'm not actually going to touch the binding to the acetone, but I want to seal it up real good. And for that, I'm going to use masking tape. You have to use the green stuff for this. You don't really. Okay. So let that sit for a while. I would say probably about an hour. And uh, we'll come back in an hour and we'll look at it and we'll bend it around a guitar and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's been in there long Oop. enough. Well, it's been in there for an hour and a half. Has so, it? yeah. Are you going in? Yeah, I accidentally, I accidentally pressed go. So, okay. We're going. All right. So I'm going to cut this here. I'm going to show you what it looks like if you try to bend binding without a heat gun. Actually, that's not bad, but see, you kind of get like a bendy white part there. And you kind of, I don't know, like if you, if you bend this too far. See, that's what you're going to get, like, especially on like a Les Paul or something. So let's check out our acetone. It's been an hour and a half. Let's see. Eh, might actually work. It's really, it's really flexible. You getting this? So there you go. Now, hmm. So the downside to this is I've smeared it, but it is certainly bending properly. It's actually glued on there now. So, so if you take some time, you know this is this is a here. Show them here. This is a piece of binding that I cut, so, I mean, it's going to be, it's not going to be exactly right, but, it's not going to be the right height, but you can see that with, uh, with soaking it in acetone, it will bend and form to the shape that you want. Okay, so let's wrap up. If you only have enough money for a bottle of whiskey or a heat gun, and you really, really want the whiskey, well, this technique will work. Um, but I think that heat guns are affordable enough now to where you should just buy the fucking heat gun. Is that kind of where we are? Okay. Um, so this, this technique does work. You're going to have to be very cognizant that this stuff is extra bendy and extra slough offable. I mean, you can see here, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of disintegrating in my hand. Um, 
So it will work, but it's not, it's not ideal. Okay, so if you have any questions about uh, what we did here today, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up for the one or two people who dislike every single video I do, video I do make sure to give us the thumbs down. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet uh, and you have used this trick before, why don't you go ahead and click the subscribe button now. This is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Come on, this is, we're taking up a lot of time when you're fucking around. <laughs> you're on camera too. That's going in the video.